How's it going guys, Got gonna be pals? I'm Alice in Wonder One Ad, your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and something very strange happened recently. Something very confusing. You see, in an effort to grow my YouTube channel, I thought I would try posting on this worldwide phenomenon of an app called TikTok. The format is basically the same as the YouTube shorts that I upload here, so I thought, why don't give it a shot and see if we can drive more people towards my YouTube channel? And well, let me tell you, the CCP clearly didn't like me. This happened. And honestly, I gotta tell you, I have been laughing my ass off. This is absolutely hilarious to me. Because why? I got banned from TikTok. How? How did this happen? What did I do to get myself banned? Did I post something outrageous? Did I get mass reported? Or did I simply not like trans folk? Let's take a dive in and figure out what happened. So, um, let's see what I posted before I got banned. Mandarin. That's it. I posted that and then I got banned. Was my Mandarin eating too aggressive for you? How did that get me banned? Why? What do you have against mandarins, CCP? Probably the way I ate it was quite unnerving. I do understand if people felt threatened by it. But I'm not just talking temp ban. And there was no warning. This was a brutal, permanent ban. Absolute 100% couldn't even access my account permanent ban. This is what I saw. You know, most platforms give you a warning or let you know that something you posted has crossed the line a little bit. Maybe they even just take it down automatically. I didn't even get a single notification. I just opened the app and I was banned. Why did you ban me, TikTok? Is eating a mandarin straight off the tree without peeling the skin somehow a violation of some CCP rule? Did I set off something in your algorithm? Is this truly anti-China propaganda? I just can't believe that I got banned immediately after posting that video. It is so funny to me, like, what? Why? I genuinely cannot fathom. Look, I'm not super bothered by TikTok. I'm not butt hurt. I don't really use the platform. I just wanted to try and get some easy YouTube subs. This was just fucking hilarious to me. I seriously have been laughing my ass off for days. I can't believe I got banned for posting a video of me eating a mandarin. But there was one other TikTok I posted. Could that be the reason? I posted... <laughs> just, yeah, it's just like... About a week, maybe two weeks before the ban. Perhaps this is the more likely cause. Perhaps they don't like the insinuation that I was literally sh child. Yeah, that's probably it actually. I thought. That's what I thought. And so, you know, I let it be. It was like, okay, fair enough. I mean, it was a Nerf gun, but okay, I can see what your problem is. But then I hatched an idea. I had to be sure. I needed to know with absolute certainty that it was the Nerf gun that caused my ban. Because if you think about it, people post TikToks about Nerf guns all the time. People post TikToks about real guns. Why did mine cause me to get banned? Is TikTok's algorithm not smart enough to differentiate that this is comedy and that is not an actual gun? So, I made this TikTok. I am going to sh Oh yeah, it's cringe. I decided I was going to speed run getting a TikTok ban. I decided I had to make the most f***ing unterms of friendly service TikTok ever. And I was going to post it so that I could get banned in a matter of hours. How fast could I do it? How fast could I get banned? What do you think? With a TikTok as horrendous as this, surely only a few hours. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm thinking, right? And I made a new TikTok account with which to test my little experiment. Speed run! You would not believe what happened next. Did I get banned immediately? Did it take a couple hours? Days? Weeks? What was the result of my TikTok ban speed run? Did the CCP come banging into my house and arrest me? Yes. It was for another reason, but yes. No. None of that happened. That TikTok stayed up for almost six weeks. Nothing. No ban. No nothing. Me basically saying, I am going to sh with this gun, did not register on their algorithm. Which is interesting to me because you see, I specifically chose that phrase because I thought it was the sort of thing that their terms of service bot would catch out. But no, nothing. I was actually trying to get banned. How sh am I? that I cannot get banned intentionally. And in fact, this account never got taken down. Some of you may know that, as I announced on my channel community page a few weeks back, I've started a new TikTok account. Yes, that's right. Plot twist. My new TikTok is this account. It is still this account. 
the account that this TikTok was posted on. After six weeks, I deleted that TikTok and renamed and rebadged my profile to Alice in Wonder One and YT, and bam. Now I've been going on strong for like two months and I'm getting views. Still no ban, nothing. And I am left, and I am left with the only conclusion I am able to draw is that it was not the Nerf gun video that got me banned. It was, in fact, the Mandarin video. Of course! What is in this video that got me instantly perma-banned with no warning? I don't understand. I'm actually slightly terrified of this video now. Do I risk posting it again? My TikTok has been doing bizarrely well. As of recording this video, I have two TikToks sitting on or above 50,000 views. I have one with 120,000 views. It's ridiculous. I'm making progress, and in fact, I am gaining subscribers from it. I've gained easily three or 400 YouTube subscribers from TikTok and Instagram in the last couple of months. Do I risk that growth by posting the Mandarin video again? Do I do it? Let me know what you think in the comments. Should I do it? But anyway, that's really the end of the story so far. I've actually been having a surprisingly great time on TikTok so far, which is absolutely shocking to me. I don't consume any content, I only create, but as a little side note at the end of this video, I wanted to bring up a small observation I've made. You see, I've been posting YouTube shorts for a while now, and as a trans person on the internet, I just thought it was quite normal to get a load of transphobic comments every time I posted a short. That's fine, I have pretty thick skin and I just delete their comments and block them from the channel so that no one else can see their misery and we can just move on. But still, I cannot stress this enough. On an average YouTube short of mine that gets 5,000 views, I can pretty easily expect to get at least 10 comments from butthurt, transphobic, conservative men. I have not at all had that experience on TikTok. The trans and queer community seems much more widespread on TikTok and perhaps the community as a whole is more accepting. I have two videos specifically about my being trans on TikTok with around 50,000 views on one and 120,000 on the others. And I've got to say, I've had a lot more comments than I ever have on any YouTube short. And I don't really recall any of them being overtly transphobic. Just an observation, you know? It's just something I've noticed. What is YouTube doing? Clearly YouTube is actually actively pushing my content towards conservative viewers, which is concerning. And I suppose, again, that's probably because transphobic people actually consume a surprisingly large amount of trans content. I'm just interested that TikTok seems to have found some way to circumvent that phenomenon. I find it interesting. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. You can even ding the bell. Maybe leave a comment if you want to help me with the algorithm. If you want to support my channel and help me pay for surgery, my buy me a coffee link is in the description. And until next time, don't eat mandarins.